Lisa Marie Kimmel was born July the 18th, 1969, in Covington, Tennessee, the eldest of three daughters born to Sheila and Ronald Kimmel. She was raised in Billings, Montana. Upon graduating from Billings Senior High School in 1987, Kimmel took a job managing an Arby's restaurant in Colorado near Denver. Kimmel's mother, Sheila, was a regional manager of the restaurant chain and the two commuted between Billings and Denver, a distance of approximately 555 miles weekly. During the week, Lisa and her mother resided in an apartment complex in Denver, each in her own separate apartment, and would often return to Billings where Ronald and the other Kimmel children resided. On March the 25th, 1988, Kimmel left from Denver, heading north to her parents' home in Billings. Her mother Sheila had departed from Denver on a flight to Billings the day before, as she was scheduled to go on a skiing trip. En route to Billings, Kimmel planned to stop in Cody, Wyoming, along the way to pick up her boyfriend, Ed. Wyoming Highway Patrol records showed that she was stopped for speeding in Douglas, Wyoming at 9.06pm. While attempting to pay her ticket, Kimmel was followed to an ATM by the officer but found the machine incompatible with her debit card. The officer agreed to allow Kimmel to mail a cheque to the police department to pay the fine once she returned to Billings. This was the last confirmed sighting of Kimmel, though there was one unconfirmed sighting of her inside a Casper grocery store at approximately 10pm that night. Kimmel was reported missing by family members the following day, March the 26th, when her boyfriend, Ed, called their home in Billings notifying them that Lisa had never arrived to pick him up at his home. Eight days after her disappearance on April the 2nd, Lisa Kimmel's body was found floating in the North Platte River near Casper, Wyoming, by a local fisherman. An autopsy determined that she had been bound, beaten and raped for at least six days. Evidence showed that she was taken to the old government bridge where she was hit on the head with a blunt object, stabbed six times in the chest and abdomen before being thrown into the river. The autopsy showed that the head wound would have killed her in a matter of minutes, even if she had not been stabbed. Kimmel's case was profiled on the television programme Unsolved Mysteries within weeks and a &E's cold case files in the years since, with each case concentrating on locating witnesses who have might have seen her black 1988 Honda CRX automobile with a Montana plate bearing a personalised Lil Miss licence plate. Investigators knew recovering the car was extremely important, as it would be a direct link to the killer. In the summer of 2002, investigators researching cold case cases came across Lisa Kimmel's rape kit, and a DNA profile was developed from the seminal evidence. The CODIS database matched the DNA to Dale Wayne Eaton, 57, who was serving time in Englewood Federal Prison in Colorado on an unrelated weapons charge. Eaton's DNA profile was placed in the CODIS database in 1997 after he was arrested on a separate charge. He had stopped to offer assistance to the Breeden family, whose car had broken down, but then he kidnapped the family at gunpoint. After his arrest for the kidnapping, Eaton escaped, but was later recaptured in Shoshone National Forest. At the time, he possessed a weapon, elevating his crime to the federal level. He was incarcerated in federal prison where he was obliged to submit a DNA sample. 
Eaton's next-door neighbours reported to investigators that they had seen him digging a large hole on his property. The site was excavated in the summer of 2002 and Kimmel's Honda CRX was unearthed, still bearing her distinctive Lil Miss licence plate. Eaton was charged with eight crimes connected to the Lisa Kimmel case, including first-degree premeditated murder, aggravated kidnapping, aggravated robbery, first-degree sexual assault and second-degree sexual assault. A fellow inmate, Joseph Francis Dax, testified Eaton confessed to him as follows. Lisa offered to give Eaton a ride, and Eaton accepted. He made sexual advances during the ride which Kimmel did not appreciate, so she pulled over to let him out of the car. The situation then escalated to kidnapping, rape and murder. Eaton was found guilty of all charges and sentenced to death on March the 20th, 2004. Eaton appealed this conviction and lost. Scheduled to be put to death in February 2010, he sought and received a stay of execution in December 2009. It was overturned in 2014. The state originally planned to seek a reinstatement of Eaton's death sentence before dropping their request in September 2021. Prior to his removal from death row, Eaton was the only inmate on Wyoming's death row. Eaton's property was awarded to the Kimmel family after a wrongful death lawsuit, and the buildings were burnt to the ground on July the 18th, 2005, on what would have been Lisa Kimmel's 36th birthday.